Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Last episode, we finished setting up uh, the ruthenium, and definitely is being bottlenecked by the nitric acid. And um, I haven't, I was debating kind of where to put this and how to upgrade it. And the easiest way would be to, it's basically this right here. This is what is gating everything. It's a 16 second recipe. And uh, yeah, I was trying to decide like how I want to do this. And I was thinking maybe just crafting um, some higher tier ones. That would probably be the easiest. I could even just place them right there. I wonder if I have, yeah, see, I don't have any higher tier stuff. Um, but now that I have some access to circuits, maybe we can do that. Maybe come out there. I could just, like, come out there and around, maybe. That's probably what I'll do. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I just kind of convinced myself how I want to do this. Um, I debated, I mean... I could build a whole chemical reactor, but I don't know if I feel like doing that just for basically ammonia. It's bas that's what we need because I'm using the ammonia and oxygen to create the nitric acid. Um, but so maybe I can just replace the fluid canner and this with maybe like LUV and just run the cabling up here. Yeah, I th actually think I just convinced myself how I want to do that. All right, so I need to, let me write that down really quick on my thing here so I don't forget. Uh, LUV, chemical, and fluid canner. Um, I debated whether doing the multi-block, but I just don't have room for it over there. I didn't build the room. Oh my goodness. I can get to the right one. Yeah, I didn't really build this large enough for another multi-block. Although I could put it right here. And then just kind of extend this out a little bit. I could even make it. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Um, the easiest would just be replacing those because, I mean, this is such an easy thing. I don't mind doing the fluid canner. I know a lot of people don't like dealing with the cells. It doesn't really bother me at all. Um, as we can tell, I just set up a whole bunch over here. But anyway, um, so the ruthenium, chugging along. Everything is uh, working out pretty well here. Yep. Did that just go? That may have just actually... Oh, that's right. It probably, like, is... Maybe it's... Hmm. Is that an exact amount? That just happened to be an exact amount for that. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh, if we take a look at the ruthenium, up to 455. So, pretty decent amount there. And, uh... Obviously, it's being supplemented with the UU matter. And, uh... Is that... All my things are filling up, and I have... I have a feeling it may be a styrene. I made... Somehow the styrene thing, I, it's when I was setting up the styrene, it shouldn't have been crafting up more styrene, but something got messed up and basically drained all my ethylene. Turned it completely into... Uh, and this keeps turning off when I leave the world. I don't know why that is happening. Yeah, that's weird. Or something keeps... I just keep coming over here and it's turned off and I don't know what is causing that, actually. Anyway, so that's... Should be going, yeah. I don't know what that was. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so it turned... It just basically turned thousands of buckets of ethylene into 
uh, styrene, unfortunately. And I'm never going to be able to go through that much styrene. I have nothing for it. So it's kind of sitting 12,000 buckets are sitting in my A system. And I think that's what's causing all these. Because all these should be a thousand. That's quite a lot actually in there, but oh well. Yeah, everything else should kind of be in a in um a tank, so it shouldn't be in the AA system. That yeah, fennel I think is in a tank, isn't it? That's over here, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, so that I gotta keep an eye on that. I may need to fix that styrene, throw it in a tank or something. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, so what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and crafted up a bunch of circuits, these LUV circuits, because I am actually going to craft three more mass fabricators and start using it a bit as a power sink, I think, um, to help with the UU matter. Um, I'm not gonna like, I go to the right place. I don't think I'm going to worry about ramping up scrap production or this stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and think place some more uh, mass fabricators, I think. So we'll probably leave that one there. How do I have this set? Do I have this? Yeah, fluid interface right there. Um, how do I want to... First of all, how much power am I pulling out of this? What is this? This is a four amp. How many amps is this pulling? Yeah, that's not even pulling like a full amp, even though this is running permanently. It's, yeah, it looks like it's using half an amp of IV. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, I have an idea. Why don't we gotta let me craft up a fluid interface, a regular one. I don't think they can be, which is a bit annoying. You can't turn it back and forth between the two. Yeah. That is really annoying. So I gotta craft up. I'm gonna do a whole Yeah, why don't we craft up that and then I will replace that with the block and then I can just pipe in. That's what I'll do. All right, let me craft that up really quick and we will come back. All right, so there we go. The ME fluid interface. They're not difficult to make. Um, just a couple things. You know, it's just kind of annoying that this one turns it into that one, but that one doesn't. Like, that's just a bit annoying. I don't know. Um, considering the interfaces, the regular ones, you can just convert back and forth. Um, so let's pull this off, and I think this, yeah, this should work. I rarely ever, I rarely ever do this, like, with, uh, cables, just because I prefer, I, I just like how the flat ones look, um, but that, yeah, that'll go through, right? Yeah, that goes through. And then, um. This is such a weird place for this too. Um, originally it was because I needed to have it a direct power source to the, the thing. All right, so that is pulling that out. Um, I need a couple Ethereum cables. So let's just, these are IV, this is IV cable. Now that I'm like, how am I gonna, I guess I could have it. Is this how I want it? I mean, I'm like overthinking this, I think, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to do it like this. It's a bit awkward, but the way I have it set up, it should be above it. 
would be the easiest way to do it, but I just don't feel like rearranging all this stuff, so I mean, maybe I'll do it, but not right now. Can't reach that. And it's like, it's crowded in this room. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Close something there, and I'm not sure which one it was. It was supposed to be that. All right, there we go. So those all on? Yeah, those are all on. Fluid output. Fluid output. Fluid output. All right. So there we go. Now we have four mana fabricators. Um, like I said, we'll just have this one using the amplifier because. I don't feel like upping the uh the thing. It's basically I just wanted a like energy sink for the uh for that. Does it say like do they use like No, it's the same. I wasn't sure if it like used less if it had the fabricator. I don't think it does. I think it just the recipe is faster. So there it is with the amplifier and then if it's not, it's much slower. But anyway, um that's actually, that's barely using any power now that I'm thinking about it, but uh, yeah, we're still going up a lot. I don't know, maybe, I just didn't want to do the higher tier matter fabric, mass fabricators because they're, you start getting like into these things and I don't know, it just, they start getting like super expensive and I'm trying to like, <laughs> get this stuff up and running. So I didn't want to be using the, the, that new, what is it, Ruhr did or whatever it is. Yeah, so that would use the ruthenium to up my ruthenium production. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, let me, I think we got enough here for another circuit multi. Yep. So how much is the ruthenium? How much do we use again for this craft? Where are you? 364. All right. So that's good to know. All right. So that will be the, uh, the next uh, circuit assembly. <laughs> so... Uh, Yep, that will be the wetware ones. We'll finally get that crafted up. So I think I need to do that. I have these three. But yeah, I may need to do a couple more recipes here. But uh, yeah, I need, man, I need like three more of these. Because I need to do this recipe and these, yeah, man. I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm not a fan of having to use one per circuit, but that is just a personal preference. It just feels kind of bad having to craft over and over again the same multi-block because you can only use one per. Anyway, just my personal opinion. Um, it may be because I'm kind of trying to craft them all at once. Now, if we were progressing kind of normally in the pack, you would probably wouldn't be doing them all at once. Although you probably, I don't know. Like when you get to the crystal line circuits, you would probably want to be doing four of them all at once. So I don't know. But then again, I'd probably have all my ruthenium piling up for a long time, so it wouldn't be wouldn't be that big of a deal. Anyway, let me uh, cut here, and we will continue this. Yeah, see, 
then I'm like, if I want to do the chemical reactor, then I'm using that stuff again. So eh, maybe I should just kind of let it go. That's not bad, but yeah, the motors. That's actually not... That's really not that bad, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So one motor and a fluid canner. I think that's a pump. Yeah, so I would need two motors. How much is that? Yeah, see, it's still 22 ruthenium. I don't know. Yeah, let me go ahead. I think I'm just going to craft that up, because then that'll help me get ruthenium even faster, because I have quite a bit of... Well, we're tearing through it. I had about 2,000-something earlier. But uh, anyway, uh, let me cut here, and we will come back. All right, I am just crafting up the Elite Chemical Reactor and the Fluid Solidifier, and I actually have to craft some better glass here. Now I have... We've made the nickel reinforced glass before, but I've never done anything higher than that. So I'm having to use this fluid solidifier over, um, I think it's CPM. What it is? Yeah, I think it's EPM. I can't remember. So there is the IV, just uh, nine tungsten each. And then the next one is nine chrome each. So that will be the uh, uh, fluid canner, right? And then we'll replace those two over there. Um, but I, yeah, it does look like that is, I don't remember if that, maybe I don't, yeah. I'm, Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, this has changed because we have an elite. We already no, that's a never mind. I'm thinking fluid solidifier. I'm like, well, we already crafted one, and we didn't have to get that class before. I wonder if the fluid solidifier. I doubt it. Yeah, no, it does. All right, so that has changed. So, in order to get that elite salute fire, I would need to craft up the higher tier glass. But, uh, yeah, we didn't have to do that. It's just regular glass. So, that's good to know. There's probably other recipes that have changed um, to use the higher tier glass as well. Just haven't uh, noticed that yet. But, anyway, there is that. Went ahead and got the recipe for the wetware circuits. So I'll show that off in a second. Just added a fourth one. So we have the crystal uh, circuits, the, the IV, LEV, ZPM, and then we have the wetware, the first wetware one. I don't have the main frame one for this one yet. I haven't done that. Yeah, I haven't done that. If if necessary, I mean, I can use this recipe. It just uses extra of these, but uh, I mean, this uh, aluminum, I don't have a whole lot of aluminum actually, um, but I haven't come across that yet. So where were we? We were explosives, yeah. I'm just going to break this. And I'm pretty sure one of these has a pump on it. Not that one. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, just kidding. Um, because it has the pumps right there pulling out the uh, ammonia. So I think I can just 
We should be able to just replace these and not have an issue. I'm pretty sure we're getting enough power over here, so I don't. I don't think we'll have a problem. But uh, I'm, oops. Yeah, that's where I want to put it. There. I'm going to do this. Actually, no. I want to be one lower, I think. And then just come along here. Yep. But I do want to get this painted. Just in case. I want it to touch any of the other wires. So, yep, we're gonna have to, yes, I wanna do this. Just kinda go back. And yeah, that works, I think. I could even paint these, but I'm not going to. All right, that should work. And then everything is already set up, so I don't see why that would cause an issue. There we go. There we go. Hmm. So do that, do that, throw that in there. All right, so as we can see, that is much, much quicker. And uh, yeah, I'll just produce the nitric acid uh, for that. Now, uh, Yep, uh, I had this turned off, so I was building up nitric acid. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got it going now. So, as we can see, we're actually producing nitric acid faster than we are using in the chemical reactor, it looks like. Is that right? Yep. Because that's actually filling up. All right, cool. That's kind of what I wanted to see. I wasn't sure how fast it was going to be, but. Uh, that's good. Um, I am going to, unfortunately, use... Um, I need to use a bunch of the explosives for... I forget what it's for. Uh, the block of cosmic neutronium. So with the neutronium, we need... I have 18,000 from all that black plutonium we need. Uh, where are we? All right, so we need eight blocks of cosmic neutronium. This 10 large plates of neutronium is actually that stuff. So it's a bit confusing with the two different types of neutronium. I was thinking, for some reason, I was thinking this is just a regular neutronium, but this is actually the cosmic neutronium. So we need, that's 80. So 80 of those, and then 72 of those. Oh, I hope I have enough. I might have to go get more plutonium. That is a whole lot of that neutronium. We do have 18,000. Let's go ahead and I guess, oh, I think we have enough. Yeah, 80 is 6,400 of those. All right, so. We'll get that going. That is the large neutronium plates, and then we need 72 of that, right? And then this is just nine, yeah. Let's get that as well, because this is gonna take a little while to 
craft up. Yeah. But man, we just went through 12,000 of those. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not seeing an easier way to get that other than the neutronium compressor. Doesn't that produce those? Maybe not the neutronium compressor. The what's it called? The other one. Um, neutron collector. Isn't this doesn't this produce those tiny things? Um, which, uh, we're almost there. We're getting there. We can produce those. We can craft all this stuff. All this stuff we can craft up. We're working towards these circuits, UHV circuits. And, uh, the last thing we need is these infinity plates and infinity callus, which is what we're working for. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm assuming these probably work with... I wonder if those work with the world acceleration upgrades. Looks like... is that the highest tier? ZPM is the highest tier of that? Acceler... Nope. Different name. So UV is the highest tier of that. Maybe we can, uh... I mean, 8 amps of UV is a pretty steep thing here. I mean, it's relatively easy to make. It's just the components, which are... We have recipes for everything, so... Uh, yeah, maybe that will be something we look into, accelerating those. Or... I mean... Yeah. Because that would probably... Well, at first, dude... Because usually, like, you spam these, don't you? Is kind of what you usually do with these. Um, but it's a little, a little bit more complicated spamming things in Greg Tech. So, uh, I don't know. We'll kind of look at that and maybe we can set up the world acceleration thing and see if that works on that and kind of see how that goes. But first we need to get the neutronium compressor. That's the first thing we need to do so we can get the infinity plates because that is what's getting us here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is like, <laughs> hmm, I mean, this isn't the end of the world. I don't know how fast this thing is, so that's the other issue. Maybe you might have to accelerate that as well. Um, we have plenty of the infinity stuff, uh, so far though. But, uh, anyway, let me, I guess let's. It's actually going through that pretty quick, but I'm sure it's it must be tearing through our our uh and that thing when that's running that causes a bit like a bit of lag issues. I thought I put acceleration upgrades in here. I put some, but apparently not. Yeah, that's definitely as soon as that starts running, I could feel the frame rate drop. So there's definitely something going on with that. Yeah, look at that. Look at the FPS when it turns on. Look at that huge drop. Wow, I didn't even know. I, I've always kind of known there was something over here, but it's the implosion compressor. All right. So that's a thing. Good thing I rarely ever use it. wonder what's causing that. Is it... Is it something I've done? Like with this? I wonder if it's that that's doing it. Pulling the TNT into the thing. I wonder if that does it or is it something else? I really don't know. Like having a conveyor belt directly onto a thing? Does that is that causing that? I don't know. I don't particularly feel like testing it out that much, but uh Yeah, I would worry about it more if this was running, but uh, we built the rocket, so I'm not overly concerned about this. I could just throw a bunch of the stuff in manually, and that would speed this up a bit. Yeah. That's kind of crazy how fast that, like, changes the uh, my frame rate, though. 
Yeah, it like tanks the frame rate. Hmm, interesting. All right, uh, let me continue crafting this stuff up here. Oh, actually, um, while I am here, I actually have finally figured out all my um. I need to make sure I don't do it's sixteen. Right? Yeah. So just let me make sure I get so ten large neutronium plates. All right. Um. So that's eighty. Eight each. You throw some of this stuff away. Just to clear out my inventory. I hate cluttered inventory. And before I forget, let's throw that in there. All right. Um, I fixed all the industrial stuff in here. Or not the industrial stuff. The industrial extruder. And as we can see, I now have two. Um... Here is the large plates. That was in my AA system, by the way. I remember we couldn't find it. Um, I tried to build them so they were sharing walls, but it did not appear to work. Um, so it's actually three full. It's a bit hard to tell, but there's like three full uh, extrusion things. And then I just, uh, I had to move over the I moved over the wire mill and kind of readjusted the stuff. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room in here, unfortunately. I was hoping I could do, if these shared a wall, they would be five wide. So I'd have one more room. So that would be kind of perfect. But uh, yeah, I had to kind of squeeze it in here because it didn't seem to form. Um, but basically, I think I have nine, nine interfaces on each. So... Uh, yeah, that is all that sorted out finally, because not having all my autocrafts um, working was a bit of a pain. These aren't shared at all, so uh, we'll do, I guess we'll do That should work, right? Unless, does this need a higher tier? Hold on, this may need cosmic neutronium. What is it, large neutronium plates or something? What's the name of that stuff? Here, Lar neutronium large plate. Ah, all right, so. That was a bit anticlimactic. I need to do this, but that's not, that's really not the end of the world um, because I have a whole bunch of CPM energy ashes anyway, right? Don't I have a whole bunch? Yeah. All right, let me do this really quick. Um, probably, oh man, yeah, that's an issue. Maybe I should just make all these. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'll just make them all. Might as well. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, let me replace these and we will come back. And gone ahead and replaced the, uh, all the hatches with the ZPM and I kind of just, I got rid of that line and just turned it into that, you know. I don't, I don't think we'll have an issue here. This can pull 16 amps of ZPM, I think. And I don't think we'll ever be anywhere near that, even if every single thing was running in here, but uh, never know. If we have some power issues, I will kind of, I'm kind of expecting if we do have power issues, that may be the cause, but uh, I, think, uh, I think we're all good here. Let me just hit these. Sometimes, yeah, see, like, that one was turned off, but that one wasn't. So those three weren't turned off when I broke the hatch. I must have replaced it fast enough. But, uh, 
Yeah. Let's try this again. I guess we'll just do... I don't know how long this is going to take. I didn't even look at the recipe. Oh, it's only 11. Uh, it's 11 seconds per plate, isn't it? All right. I guess we'll just leave it in there. I was thinking it would do all of it, but... Uh, Like, I thought it would do all 40, and then I would just bring it over here and start that, but oh well. That's not too bad. So there we go. There is the large neutronium plate, so we are definitely working towards this. The cosmic neutronium blocks, though. Is that... Or it's block of... It's block of cosmic, isn't it? Block of neutronium, neodymium. What the heck is it called? Neutronium block. Man, so many different. Not a block of neutronium, it's a neutronium block, but it's not regular neutronium, it's cosmic neutronium. <laughs> so, all right, so that's not bad at all. Nope, not that. There we go. I will just throw that in, I guess. Yeah, we'll throw it in there. That's so like, I don't know. It just seems like, <laughs> like such a high end thing. It's you can do it in like just an LV compressor. But then, like, if I want to make a plate of this stuff, it is, <laughs> I have to use, like, a ZBM thing. So, I don't know. Sometimes it feels a bit weird. I know this is because, like, you can use it in weapons and stuff. So, that's a little bit kind of different. I'm just going to throw it back in there. So, there is those eight of those, ten of those. So that, that, we need, okay, we're almost, we're getting there. We need six bed drachium plates. So we need 48 bed drachium. Now, how much cobble I have? Yeah. I, um, I think I have four. Yeah, I have four emerald things on there, and that just kind of fills up while I'm doing other stuff. So I, th I think we need eight. We need six, so they're eight each, so 48 hydrochium for that. So 374,000 on top of the 57 I already have crafted. So as we can see, this really needs a lot of... Um, needs a ton of cobblestone, but, uh, yeah, this will just go through. I wish there was a faster way I could do this, but I really don't know. I mean, it's putting 16 stacks at once. Is there any other faster way to, I mean, I don't think there's a faster way we could do that, right? It's making 21. Yeah, I really don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's about it for this episode. I think we're making pretty good progress here. I think we're almost at a, another one. I just need one more after this. So I never made a recipe for that. 24 short. Oh, and I need, that's right. I need a couple of things here. This is for the EV energy or the UV energy hatch. Because uh, I keep using, I don't know, maybe I'll switch out a couple for the ZPM. We don't need the UV. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Um, but I think next episode we'll be able to, I think we'll be able to craft this up next episode. Um, I'm going to let this just kind of run for a while. I'm kind of thinking... To be honest, now that we have 
upped our, uh, up this. I mean, yeah, you don't get a whole lot of it from this. The problem is it's, you only get a tiny pile. So you need nine of these to get one. And I think it's, but you need, I don't know. You need a lot of this stuff basically to get some ruthenium. So even though I'm like, Like, this is the backlog. Even if I, like, tore through all that stuff, you're not going to get a whole lot of it from the platinum. Yeah, I only have 200 left. So I think I'm actually going to... No, not that. I may just kind of, like, ramp up more UU matter production, to be honest. I may just build like 10 of those. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to kind of think about that. Um, because they're, they're not that easy. They're not that difficult to make anymore. Because I use a lot of... It's basically the field generators. So two each. Let's say 10 more. Yeah, see, this isn't, this isn't bad at all, actually. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Um, it is tearing through my platinum, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we'll kind of look into that next episode and hopefully we'll get this neutronium compressor thing built and uh, we'll check it out. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.